Okay guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rezondu, if you have not been here before, and today I have decided to depot some products that I haven't been using as much, and I want to put them all in this one palette I got from Juvia's Place. It's quite a large palette, magnetic palette. Um, here's my magnets. Um, and the idea is that I can get a full face in here. So I'll show you what I mean. I've got my MAC Studio Fix powder um, and I need to finish it. I really need to use it. I've had it for too long. So I want that to go in there. I want this bronzer and potentially all of these actually to go in there because this is so bulky. Um, it's kind of irritating me. Um, and then I have some existing I'm just going to potentially transfer. Um, this is not satisfying to me. It's all over the place. I'd really like to have just these in here maybe. I've got some eyeshadows here that I never use and this is a very old Urban Decay Vice palette. I've deconstructed the palette. I pulled it apart and what I've done here is this was the black shade. I've actually put it here. Um, so I wanted to just do a little test and these are magnetic which is fantastic. So I'm hoping that these will be easy to put in here. I'm going to actually remove these. These are like the worst eyeshadows I've ever used in my life from Kiko. And then these ones are all from Kiko and I absolutely love them. So I'll just take those out now because that is just not going to be part of this palette. So I want to have a mixture of eye and complexion here um, so that I have like a go-to travel palette. And I just need to take this one palette with me when I travel. So that is the idea. I've never professionally depotted before. I tried to depot these and I cracked it. I cracked that. Um, so I've watched a few videos to just get a little bit more of an idea of what to do. And hopefully I succeed. So watch me on this journey because I need your support. Oh, that's right. I removed this bracket. So... It's really sad, but at the same time, I don't use this and I want to use it. Um, and I don't like the arrangement of how these shadows look. I find it very uninspiring. So I'd like to rearrange these in a way that fits my style. Um, so it had to be done. It just had to be done. And I've had this for so long. See, this one's gone right in. Ah. Okay. This is a beautiful shade. Do you want a little swatch? Like um, a duochrome. There we go. It's hitting the light. It's so pretty. Okay, guys, look, one casualty, but it's fixable. Look how dirty my hands are, so gross. Um, you know, when I put all of these out, I really see how much I love these colors. And every time I have used this palette, I've absolutely adored it. And I'm so excited that I'm really happy that I have decided to put this in a magnetic palette so I can properly use it and arrange it how I want to. This one here, yesterday I broke this. <laughs> So it's actually my project pan. So um, I wanted to take the pan out and then repress it rather than repress it then. Actually, I could repress it because it'll still be flexible. I just want to see how... And this one's already broken, so it can be a little bit more rough. Oh, yes. Oh, we did it, guys. Oh, this is very satisfying. It's time to leave the nest. I've got a new, bigger, better home for you. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's done. And just so you know, I disinfected this table and washed my hands before this. So, ta da! Too fixed. We're on a roll. This comes out. And then I want to put 
Aha. All right, this is gone. And now we're just left with, oh. <laughs> this was already very fragile. Um, I've got a spatula, let me get my spatula. These are like so creamy. They're a powder, but they're like a cream powder that they, that's why they already broke. They were so fragile um, when I first got it. You can see there's hardly any product in that, jeez. Okay, well, she's gonna be our first tester then. It's like sitting in this little bracket. Do I, I might just try and cut this and see what happens. Damn. Okay. Feels, it's loose in there. All right, we've got her out and she needs to be fixed. I will show you a swatch of this with my pinky because it's the cleanest. <laughs> it's really pretty. And it really does feel like a cream. Yeah. Oh, I can hear the rip. Yes. Oh, lovely. That's one I've previously pressed. So that one is fine. This is technically a blush, however, there's like not much pigment in it. It'd be more of a highlight in my personal opinion. Oh, that's coming out so easily. Um, but I will add it to the palette because it's still very gorgeous. I will show you. Not a very good swatch, is it? It's very pretty. It's very highlighty as well. I think you can buy this blush shade. It's called Blush in Natural Glow, but the highlighter is a limited edition. They say it on the packaging. And then this is just your, called bronzer in bronzer, but it's the famous butter bronzer. And this one is Sorry, I'm concentrating, I'm trying to talk. This one's in my project pan. And the reason why I put it in my project pan is because it was in this palette, I wasn't using it enough, but I do really like it. So yay, success. Okay, so I brought these both out because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do because they're both contour palettes. I've got the Physician's Formula and I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And these will easily pop out um, as we've got these little things here. I might leave this one for now because I'd really like to focus on this one and finish this one. And because I'm going to depot it, I might actually depot all of them and see if I can try and use them. Because as you can see, I'm only using this contour shade. Um, but I just hate wasting makeup. So I'd really like to see if I can try and find ways. I think if I blended these two together, I'd be able to use them. Okay, I removed it. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how, but I wouldn't recommend how I did it. <laughs> I just ripped it, I'm so bad. Actually, I use this and I leave it out and I close my eyes and move to my head. So yeah, that's how I did that. Um, right, let's get into this. I just had a little feel and I forgot to turn the camera on. I had a little feel and I think the um, glue is pretty dry, so. Yeah, and I can feel, I can hear and feel the rip, so we're out, we're out. Look at me, I'm proud of myself. Some of you are watching this and you're like, uh, what are you proud of, you've broken a few. And I'm like, yes, well, that's part of the risk, isn't it? I don't wanna play with fire. I trust myself with a knife, I don't trust myself with fire. So basically, all I want left is this one. So I'm going to go warm up a pan in my oven on low heat and I'm going to put this on the pan just for a minute. I'm I'm not even I'm going to really really watch it cuz like I said I don't trust myself with heat. Um 
but I really want to remove this. So I'm not going to show you that process because um, it's, it's too hard and I really want to concentrate. So I'm going to go try that um, and come back. If I'm not successful, what I'm going to do is clean all of these and then I'll also come back um, so we can put them in the magnet palette. And I have to actually test if these are magnetic. I know that these are, but I don't know anything else if it's magnetic or not. So I will be back in a jiffy. Oh my God. <laughs> these, these were easy. I didn't show you this because this took me like an hour to clean. Oh my God. The old glue, it just wouldn't come off. Oh, okay. That was not fun. <laughs> now we're back to the fun part. That's as clean as that's going to get. I was not very good with it before. I'm going to put these in here and if I depot this one, I might be able to fit this one in here too. Um, so here we've got six eyeshadows, three eyeshadows, bronzer, face powder, and then that will be a blush. So this could be like a little mini and this is my big version. So we've got all my Urban Decay eyeshadows. They fit in nicely. One more would have just been complete however we can't have everything and then we've got blush blush contour hula bronzer butter bronzer becca highlighter blush I still like that um highlighter highlighter face powder so i'm pretty happy i just want to do this i'm not going to bother doing this on camera because you know you've watched the whole process already um, so yeah, these are my two palettes that I have and then imagine that one there. It's just not going to fit with this bracket. Um, so if I take it out, it should fit. But yeah, that's essentially it. This is something I want to travel with. What I have, I collect my um, bubble wrap from packages and if I travel, I would put this in a bubble wrap sleeve. I have been wanting to do it for a while. And finally, I have a whole face. I've got a full face on both sides. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do lots of different kind of makeup related videos. Other than that, I think I'll see you guys in my next video. See you then. Bye.